here and just talk to you guys because it has been a hot minute since I have filmed a vlog where I just like just talk with you guys. I really truly have missed you. I just wanted to give you guys a casual update of my life while washing all these brushes. I'm just gonna spot clean them and then I'm gonna deep clean them afterwards because I do have to get the color and the foundation off of the bristles first before I can deep clean them. I have been fully immersed in the makeup artistry section of my life, area of my life. It's because my business is fairly new still. I've been a makeup artist for like six, seven years already, but I haven't had to like manage my own business or anything until last year in September. So my business itself is still pretty new. So I have to take care of it with the most amount of attention right now. Building my clientele, just saying yes to so many jobs. It's been absolutely crazy with bridal work these days. Like last year and this year, the number of weddings I'm working, it's just absolutely nuts. If you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Amy. <laughs> I hope you guys stick around. I am a makeup artist on the weekends, but I also have a daytime job as a UX UI designer. So I have a full-time job and then basically a business that I'm running almost full time and I'm also trying to do YouTube. So it's just been pretty difficult. <laughs> One of the biggest reasons why I feel like I haven't been good about uploading is because I have always been super insecure about the content that I upload on my channel. I decided to let that go <laughs> and just upload vlogs like I used to and just enjoy the process in the long run. Maybe I'll figure it out, maybe I won't, but it is what it is. And I think I just have to accept that. I don't want my perfectionism to be an obstacle in the growth of my channel and connecting with you guys because ultimately I love doing this as a hobby and I truly, truly miss like editing and talking to you guys on, on in the comments. So I just wanna get back into it. So I'm jumping into it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the support that you've shown me. I've been washing the same brush for like, for like the past 10 minutes. <laughs> this is like another form of therapy for me. So yeah, I really appreciate you being here. I just hope you guys know that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm wearing a white shirt and like, taking off foundation this dark of a color i'm like scared <laughs> later in this video i am going to be showing you guys a collective aritzia haul because i have accumulated quite a bit of clothing pieces from aritzia in the past few i want to say past few months i was never able to show them to you guys so that's what i'm going to do in this video I literally did not make any progress with my brushes. Also, I wanted to show you guys that I will be filming a makeup studio tour in the near future because the studio setup is where I want it to be. And I just got a neon sign that you can see kind of like blurry in the background. So I'll show you guys everything in a future vlog as well so hey you guys happy sunday it is currently about 12 27 p.m i wanted to vlog around today because i have so much to do charlie's at costco right now and i'm waiting for him while i am drinking my starbucks coffee i got the grande vanilla sweet cream nitro cold brew with light sweet cream it's okay I remember it being a little different. Maybe I got the wrong order, to be honest with you. I haven't had Starbucks in ages because Charlie and I own the Nespresso machine. So we usually drink Nespresso coffee or we drink just like we brew our coffee ourselves like with old school coffee machine. But hello, I wanted to say hi and spend some time with you guys because I feel like for the last couple of days after the intro footage that I took, I've been just running around like a mad lady. <laughs> it's been absolutely crazy this weekend. I worked a total of three weddings this weekend on top of just like my regular full-time job. So I have a lot to catch up on today. I know it's Sunday and I should probably be resting, but there's just like so little time and so much to do all the time. <laughs> Yikes. We also got our house professionally cleaned yesterday. So I'm just like, oh, enjoying the clean house. There's nothing 
like the feeling of spending time in your home when it is spanking clean. I have been experiencing some horrific allergy symptoms lately. So I've been in and out of the doctors so much and often lately because I've had to go to my internal medicine doctor and then a dermatologist because I was having like a rash and I've been experiencing a lot of skin allergies lately. So, and then I went to an allergist to get a patch testing and then the reading. It's just been awful lately. So I apologize for just being MIA and so sporadic, but I've just been going through a lot of life changes. That's kind of my current update. <laughs> and Aritzia actually opened up recently at my nearest mall and not my nearest, but one of my nearby malls, they opened up a huge Aritzia store. So I was very, very happy about that news. And I go in there maybe at least, at least once a month, you guys. <laughs> I go when my budget kind of like resets and then I'm just like, okay, what else do I have to pick up? Because Aritzia is definitely one of the brands that I do like to cover on my channel for my fashion content. But yes, like I was saying, I am obsessed with anything and everything sculpt knit related. Aritzia is known for that, I feel like, and the Molina pants, of course. I do want to show you guys this because I'm wearing it currently, and this is just their cropped, like, you know, just their regular tank top. I just love how this makes your body look. I think it just hugs your body so well, and it holds things in, and just kind of, you know, they do really sculpt. And I just love this color. It's so fun. And I do think that it goes with enough things in my wardrobe because I tend to wear a lot of neutrals, black and white. I decided to be a little bit more fun this season and grab a few colorful things. It's still muted colors. That's how I like it. It's still in tune with my overall style, <laughs> but it's a little bit more fun. You know, I'm like dabbling. I will show you the rest of my haul, but I have so much laundry to do. It is piling up like no other. <laughs> I've been holding it off, so I'm gonna be doing all of my laundry today. So I was saying I got my allergy testing done and I found out that I'm allergic to freaking fragrance. Not happy about that. I cannot wear perfume right now for the next month. I cannot use fragranced laundry detergent. I cannot use fragranced hair products, body care products, like everything. I had to switch out everything. Okay, it is so expensive. I had to buy new everything basically just for this trial month so that I can isolate what is really irritating my skin. I need a new organization system for my makeup products because I have been really, really passionately dabbling back into <laughs> beauty and just like buying new products all the time. So I need a better system of organi organization, organizing, and I need to, yeah, arrange things a little bit better. I will be doing a beauty video soon. Okay, I'm, you know, this, I'm rambling too much. Hold on one second. I will show you upstairs what I mean. I also think Charlie just came back from Costco and then we're gonna head to uh, Charlie's parents place in Maryland. Um, Charlie and I live in Virginia. If you guys are new to my channel, Charlie's parents who we're really, really close with, they live in Maryland. So we make an effort to go see them at least like once or twice a month. And here's Romper. <laughs> okay, so we are in my bedroom right now. And okay, it's not as bad as I make it sound to be, but in my brain, it's bad because I am such a an OCD perfectionist, clean, organized person. So we have like a little bit of laundry in this corner. We have this clean laundry basket. I love this, you guys. I have a black one for dirty laundry and then I have this white one for clean laundry. I need to take this downstairs to our laundry room. Um, It's pretty clean over here. Our bed's not made. I just didn't have time to do that today. This is my vanity situation right now. I liked it until I realized that I have too much stuff. This table or this vanity desk is just too small. And then you can see I, this is overflowing, you guys. I need a better system. Like everything is just like kind of thrown in here. I had a system kind of laid out, 
but and then I just got too much stuff. I accumulate too much stuff, you guys. I mean, I'm a makeup artist, so it makes sense that I have so much makeup because I'm trying new things all the time. I mean, I just buy new stuff all the time. Okay, guys, um, I'm obsessed with this palette. Let me open it for you. This is the most gorgeous hourglass palette. I have the old one too from last season, and I wanted to pick up their newest one. I don't know if this is the newest actually, but it's still available on their website. Anyway, oh, and then I just recently started using this because I saw all the TikTok rage about the Charlotte Tilbury products and specifically the Flawless Filter. So I got this in the shade 3. I love it so far. Um, maybe I will film a video of some of my favorite new current products. I also, I, I've been trying a lot of new Charlotte Tilbury products and Dior. I know, who am I? Seriously, it's just like so much expensive makeup that I'm trying out. I need to sort out this situation. Um, maybe I will film that at a later point, but I'm not going to be able to do that today. So maybe in the future. This is a cart that I have and it is, this is my M Cosmetic stuff that I recently tried out. All of my blushes, my palettes are down here. Like, oh my gosh, this is like filled to the brim too. So I was actually thinking because I can't really get a bigger vanity table. As you can see, I only have a sliver of a corner to place my vanity. This is, these are my clothing. Like, well, my tops are all in here. These are all my bottoms. So I was actually debating. I was like, well, maybe I should dedicate one of the drawers here for all of my makeup stuff but i'm just not sure because it is gonna be still like away from my vanity table so i'm gonna have to like move around to like grab stuff i'm not sure but i feel like that's the only logical place you know unless i want like more storage stuff here but ugh, i don't know i just don't think we have enough space to put another thing in here as you can see. I mean, it's still pretty spacious, but I like it being spacious. I don't really like cluttering the space with too much furniture and everything. So I don't know, we will see what happens. But Charlie just got back. I'm gonna do some laundry and then take you guys along with me on today's journey. Do you see what's happening here? Oh my gosh, I have this huge thing for the Aritzia haul. And then I also need to figure out this pile of clothes. And I also want to film a bag review on this, the Coach Tabby. Oh, I love this bag, spoiler alert. But I'm gonna do a whole, another separate video on that one. But today we will go through the Aritzia bags right here. Oh my gosh, it's been forever since I filmed a haul. Before we get to the Aritzia haul, I wanted to thank Stylevana for collaborating with me on this portion of today's video. And they sent me a bunch of Korean skincare goodies to share with you guys today. And I will be inserting clips here as well of me trying out the products for the first time. But I have been using these and I am loving the product. So let's go ahead and dive into that first. I think some of these products will be so lovely to use in the summertime. So keep your eyes peeled. But this is an empty sheet mask packet and this is from Beauty of Joseon and it's their Centella Asiatica Calming Mask. Oh my gosh, I have hair all over my face. I'm sorry. It's pretty hot and sticky up here right now. When Stylevana reached out to me to ask what kind of products I'd be interested in trying out, I told them that I really love calming products that make me really feel pampered and make my skin feel really calm and hydrated and nourishing because I do have pretty sensitive skin. I suffer with a lot of dermatitis. This mask I was really happy to receive and I tried it out. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the material that they used to create this mask itself. Like it's, it is the fabric type. I usually like the fabric sheet masks over the gel masks because I feel like they adhere to my skin a little bit better and they stay up and I can do other things while the gel masks tend to slip around on my face and I'm not a huge fan of that and it feels a little bit heavier to me. The amount of ampule that is in one sheet mask packet, it's a lot. So I like rubbed it all over my body, my decollete. So I really, really love that, that it was not skimpy on the product, but I do wish that they use a more durable 
fabric material for the actual mask itself but the ampule the serum it was so hydrating it felt so luxurious it was really calming didn't irritate my skin at all so i do highly recommend this if you have sensitive and dry skin you would really like this this is by innistree i think that's what it's called is it isn't tree oh it's different than innis free innis tree I thought it was called Innistree, but it's actually called Isentree. This is their aloe soothing gel, and it's basically 50% aloe vera, where you can use this on your face, your body, just wherever you'd like, except for your hair. I don't think that would be good. <laughs> I love products with aloe vera because aloe vera is such a nice, you know, just skin loving ingredient. It's really, really good for people who have irritated skin, sensitized skin. It has healing powers. I'm all about aloe. When your skin is out in the heat and it's like the sun is blazing hot and your skin gets irritated, uh, sunburnt and all that jazz, please wear sunscreen. And speaking of sunscreen, they did send me a face sunscreen, which I will talk about. But this is really good to calm your skin for the summer months just any time around i think it's really hydrating i do love this formula it's not like greasy or sticky or anything i just love this as like a body lotion i'm just gonna use some right now it absorbs like super quickly and it doesn't smell like anything super smooth and like it's not sticky at all it absorbs super quickly like you can barely see it now but yeah, I really love this stuff. And it's in such a good packaging that you just like, you don't have to like scoop it out. I, I think this is so convenient to use and just bring with you to the beach or to the pool. And you can just like put it immediately after you go to the pool or something when your skin is a little dry. I'm a big fan of this one. This is by Frutia. I've never heard of this brand before, so I was really intrigued. It is 50 plus SPF, PA plus 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 plus. <laughs> so a lot of pluses, which is a good thing. This is called the Green Grape Sebum Control Cooling Sun Gel. I'm not sure about the cooling aspect because I don't feel like physically cooling when I use this, but I do really like it. However, I do think that if you have a deeper complexion or skin tone, I think this will leave a white cast. If you're like light to medium complexion, you would be all over this and it smells really good. It didn't irritate my skin or anything like that. I love Korean sunscreens because it feels super lightweight and just non-greasy, non-oily. So I do enjoy this. It's just that it does leave a slight white cast and you do have to work a little bit harder to rub it in. If you have a light to medium skin tone though you would love this i do really enjoy it and i will continue using it like i said i love aloe and this has bha as well and it's a skin toner i'm obsessed with this i think <laughs> i'm still using it so i'm still like you know trying to see the long-term effects but it feels really good on the skin and it's super hydrating and nourishing which is super rare for something that is a bha toner i tend to feel that chemical exfoliators in toners tend to dry out my skin but because it has aloe and i love the formulation it feels lightweight but very hydrated and i feel like makeup lays really well over this it is slightly tacky when you first apply it but after a little bit it does disappear it is ph balanced um which means like slightly acidic so it'll absorb into the skin better. I am excited to keep on using this and the pump is awesome. <laughs> I really like the packaging. Also, my skin looks super glowy after using that product. The last one is called the Our Recipe Oil to Foam Cleanser. And this is... Okay, first off, let's talk about packaging. This is like totally my jam. <laughs> I love this color. Oh my god, so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I have not used this yet, but I'm super excited to try it out. I have been trying out a bunch of new products lately, so I didn't want to freak out my skin too much. So I will be incorporating this into my skincare routine at some point, but I feel like Korean skin like cleansers are usually very, very gentle, and I have high hopes for this. I will link all of these products in the description box below for you to check out if you're interested. But thank you so much, Stylevana, for collaborating with me on this portion of the video. All right, now let's get into our aritzia haul so this one was the old bag it's quite big some of these things are not weather appropriate anymore because in the 
uh, Virginia, DC area right now. It is currently like 95 degrees. It's just not fun <laughs> and it's humid. So uh, it is mid-May, mid to late May right now and it's 95 degrees. I think we skipped like the 60 to 80 degree weather, but I have a few sweat sets. <laughs> So not weather appropriate right now, but it is cold somewhere in the world. So hopefully you guys will still enjoy this haul. So the first sweatsuit I got in two different colors. Oh my gosh, I love TNA brand sweatshirts and sweatpants at Aritzia because they are just so comfortable, so easy to just like throw on and it still looks so aesthetic. Aritzia is just like one of my favorite brands, you know, and I definitely do want to make more content with uh, their clothing items. Okay, so these are the sweatpants. It's from the TNA Cozy Fleece line. It's the mega, mega ones? I don't know. It. I got it in an extra small and obviously I will link all the products that I mentioned in this video in the description box below um, but if you have any specific questions that I don't mention in this video or in the description box feel free to leave them in the comments this is what it looks like oh my gosh I know it looks like such a basic sweatpants but it's so comfortable and it's really warm because it's fleece like I said it's it feels like summer right now so this is probably irrelevant but I still wanted to show you and it has the drawstrings hidden inside the waistband which is nice so you can adjust the waist and it has pockets which is always a great thing <laughs> and this is the sweatshirt and it is a cropped style sweatshirt and i got it in the same color just like that matching white and it's a zip up has pockets and just so soft i mean i love their fleece stuff this one is the tna cozy fleece and it's in the boyfriend style, which is a little bit different than the mega. It's hard to keep track, but yeah, love this one so much. It just looks so aesthetic and I love cropped anything with high-waisted anything. So this is so my style. Love it so much. This is the white one. The same sweatpants and sweatshirt in this lovely cocoa brown color. It's like a chocolate brown color. And I got this in the boyfriend style. The boyfriend style sweatpants they don't have drawstrings by the way so fyi if you're thinking about what the differences are but yeah this one doesn't have an adjustable uh, waist but this one still fits me really really well it's in extra small so yeah it has pockets and i always get mine in the short version because i am fairly petite i'm like five two five three on a good day that's what i describe my height <laughs> that's how i describe my height love this color oh like i said i got that in a sweatshirt as well it's the same cropped version all right so i think this is where it's gonna get really fun <laughs> i was able to get my hands on the melina pants in both colors that i really really wanted and i got it in a black and in this camel color but it's like almost like a taupey camel it's not super super brown i will Put it in the description so you guys know exactly what style this is in because there are quite a lot of different styles and versions of the Molina pants. They have like a little bit of a low rise. These are not low rise. These are the high waisted ones, which I love way more. And then I have like the cropped version, but there's like a cropped and an ankle, which really confused me for a little bit. But these ones fit me super, super well. And I think I tried the cropped. No, I think I tried the ankle and it was still too long on me. I'm not sure, but I'll le leave it in the description. But oh my God, they fit me so, so well. Okay, sizing wise, it's a little weird. So let me show you the black ones. In the black ones, I got a zero and it fits me perfectly. Such a vibe, right? I love the Molina, Molina pants and I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on it finally. They were out of stock for like so long. I never knew when they were gonna come back. It is the perfect length on me, high-waisted, the perfect fit. I love it. This I got in a size zero, the black ones, but I got these ones online. I believe they're the same style, but when I ordered a zero and they came to my house, they were so tiny. Like I couldn't button it. <laughs> I was like, wait, is this a true zero? I'm so confused. And then I tried on my black ones again. I was like, am I tripping out? These run significantly smaller. So I had to get a size size two. I returned it and then got a size two in these instead. And they fit like a zero. So I don't know what's going on. 
I don't know if it's just me, if I got a dud or if it's like a quality control thing. I'm really not sure, but I had to size up in, the, in these, this taupe color. Yeah, just keep that in mind. I had to size up for that different color. Another fun part of the video. So these are, I think, more appropriate for spring and summer. <laughs> I got some, I got new sculpt knit tops. I got a lot. And then I also got some shorts from Aritzia that I'm excited to wear for this summer because they're like more comfy shorts but they're still aesthetic because you know it's Aritzia. <laughs> First one is what I'm wearing right now. These are like their classic like you know the tank tops that are cropped. I will go through the fun colors first because I did get a brown. <laughs> Obviously I'm a neutrals gal but okay how fun is this color? It's like a baby dusty blue. Oh my gosh I am obsessed with this color. I already wore it out once and got so many compliments on him and I love this high neckline. It is so so cute and I think it's perfect for spring. I mean it feels like summer right now so it might get a little hot because it is high neck but it's still sleeveless so I love layering things like jackets on top of this and wearing like a necklace that shows like over the top. I also got this in a brown color as well. Of course, I had to get a neutral, <laughs> neutral color. And this is in that really dark deep brown which I love, goes with so many different things. And then I also really love their one shoulder tank. It's like this one, oops. And this is such a cool color. It's a gray, but it has a hint of like purple. It's like a purpley gray. Oh, love it. It's still a neutral, so it goes with a bunch of different outfits, a bunch of different bottoms, but I just love one shoulder anything. Like, I, I really like showing off my shoulder. One shoulder, though. Just one. It is extra cropped. Like, it's, I think it's just as cropped as this one, um, but these ones, the high neck ones, are a little bit longer, as you can see. The difference, you know? It's a little bit longer. Last but not least, I have these Oh my god, these are so, so, so cute. These are some shorts and these are just like elastic waistband. I love it. You just like slip it on and you're ready to go. And this fabric is really nice. It's, um, let me see, fabric from Japan. It's 100% polyester. It is just like really flowy, just super like unstructured almost. Stretchy waistband, which I love. And it's in the flax beige color. And I got it in an extra small. This style is called Gelato 3 inch. I think these will be such like effortless outfits and it would be amazing at the beach or like on vacation. These ones are just flowy and really easy to take on and off. Love this one so much. I got it also in a black. That is it for everything that I got at Aritzia. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna wrap up this haul and I'm gonna head over to Charlie's parents place and then we're gonna grab some lunch together. I hope you guys enjoy these more casual haul videos where I just like, you know, talk to you guys and get excited about stuff. Let me know how you guys like this format, but yeah, I will keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so I thought I would sit down and show you guys what I bought from Sephora. It's going to be a very small haul. Got only three products, but <laughs> I still spent over $100 on just three products. It's insane. I think all three of these are technically skincare products. Some of these things I bought specifically for my South Carolina trip that is coming up this weekend for my friend Courtney's bachelorette, bachelorette party. <laughs> We're going to Polly's Island, South Carolina. So I will be vlogging while I'm there and doing all the fun batch activities. I'm so excited to take you along with me. But anyway, let's go ahead, get started with the haul. Do you guys like this shirt? It's so cute. It's a graphic tee that I got from Pretty Little Things, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but it's uh, the Devil Wears Prada. It's a scene here when she's like handing her the purse. I, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to dress very comfy today, but the first thing that I bought, which I think is the most exciting probably, this is the iconic, I have the box here, this is the iconic London Radiance Booster in the color Honey Glow. I bought this specifically because I wanted something that I can put on top of a tinted moisturizer while I'm at the beach and the pool where 
you know, it's really hot and I don't want to put on a full face of makeup on or anything, but I wanted to put something on top of my tinted moisturizer to give that really pretty radiance. So I thought this product was really, really neat. This is what it looks like. I love this packaging because it is a pump. I actually asked the sales associate there that I was looking for the Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro? Sol de Janeiro? I'm not sure how to say that, but their body oil that's in the pump, it's uh, the bronzing glowy color. I really wanted to get that one, but they were all sold out. So I was like, let me try to find something comparable. And I understand that this is for specifically formulated for your face, but you can also use it on your body if you wanted to. I'm probably going to stick with using it on my face only because it is a smaller size. So per ounce, it's more expensive. But I'm really glad I picked it up because I am interested in trying out this product. I think it is so, so pretty. It has really high praise on the Sephora website. I did check it has like five stars and a lot of reviews. So super excited to try this. Let me show you what the color looks like because I did get a slightly darker color than my natural skin tone since I wanted it to have that kind of bronzy effect, but this is what it looks like on my hand. And it's like slightly darker, maybe like one or two shades darker than my actual skin tone, but look at that. Oh, such a pretty reflective glow. It just looks really pretty and smooth, but there's no like actual shimmer particles in here, which I actually really like. It just looks really like a wet kind of radiance look. <laughs> but this is just so pretty. I'm like so excited to try this out. And I wanted to use this like on my cheeks and kind of like, I guess like all over my face, but just on top of a tinted moisturizer because this definitely isn't gonna give me like a lot of coverage. So I think tint a moisturizer and then maybe mix this or put this on top, then it would give me a little bit more coverage than just having the tint a moisturizer or just this alone. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a go and then I will show you guys what it looks like when I try it on during the trip. The next thing that I got is also kind of a sun care product. I got another, I, I already have this in my makeup collection, but I wanted to buy another one specifically for this trip because I wanna keep one in my purse and then one at home because I love it that much. It is the K-Skin Isle Easel. I really don't know how to say this word, but it's their lip balm with SPF 30, water resistant for 40 minutes, which is great, but it is basically a clear lip gloss that has 30 SPF, which is amazing because my lips do get really dry from the sun rays and stuff. And I definitely don't want chapped lips or worse, burnt lips during the trip. So I wanted to buy another one of these. And these are so, like the price is really good. It's $14. I know, th I know that's not cheap, but $14 for a really, really amazing product at Sephora. I it's, it's pretty good. You get a lot of product as well. This is, I believe, 0.35 ounces, which is 10 grams. This is the box. And this is the actual product. That's what it looks like. And it is literally just a clear gloss. I will put it on for you. And it is really high shine, which I love. It feels super nice too. Oh, it smells really good too. It's like a vanilla scent. Reminds me of like a MAC lipstick, but it does make your lips feel super hydrated. I only put like a light layer on, so it's not like super thick on my lips right now. It smells good, it feels good. I think it's pretty moisturizing and it kind of mimics a lip gloss, which is like multi-functional, <laughs> which I love about this. So highly, highly recommend this if you guys haven't tried it out. The next and last product is by Summer Fridays. I haven't tried a lot of things from Summer Fridays, to be honest with you. Uh, I've tried one of their face masks, which is in that blue tube. I think it's called like the jet lag mask or something. I have tried that. It's not my favorite. I don't feel like it makes a huge difference in my skin, but it does a nice job of hydrating. But I saw this and I was very intrigued and it is their Heavenly 16 all-in-one face oil. It's supposed to like condition and nourish your skin. First off, this packaging is gorgeous. I love 
the Summer Fridays aesthetics. It is just so minimalistic and I love it. And this is the product. I am just so in love with how this looks. This bottle is so cute. I am not a huge fan of droppers because they do tend to like be a little bit messier and I'm just not the biggest fan. I wish it was just in like a pump, but it is an oil, so I understand. I currently don't have a face oil that I'm in love with. I don't actually currently own any, I think, because I got rid of the other one. I gave it to a friend because it just was a little too thick on my face for my liking. So this looks really kind of watery, like very liquidy. I think this will be a little bit thinner in consistency, which I think I will like better. This has really great reviews on the Sephora website as well. I swear, I religiously check Sephora's website for reviews and this had really, really positive, you know, comments. I actually haven't even felt it. Let's try it. Wow, it's like a, such a yellow color that's so interesting okay it's definitely not a cheap product i think it was like 55 dollars. but face oils usually are pretty expensive but that's what it looks like it is pretty runny yeah it feels wow it actually looks kind of yellow on the skin <laughs> doesn't smell like anything i think it doesn't have fragrance which i prefer because i'm actually allergic to fragrance you guys i just found out from my allergist so i'm glad that this one doesn't have it my face is not as sensitive to fragrance my body is more it's kind of i'm still figuring it out <laughs> but this feels really nice i think i'll like it i might actually put it just like mix it with moisturizer or put it under I tend to do that if I don't want my skin to feel super oily or greasy. I like to put the oil first and then lock and then put my moisturizer on top because it usually kind of balances out the texture on my skin. I'm gonna play around with that and see what method I like the best. I'll keep you guys updated how I feel about this, but yeah, I mean. It feels really, really nice. Alrighty, you guys, I think this is going to be the end of this vlog because I am going to start a new vlog tomorrow since this has to go up tomorrow before I leave for vacation or to the batch party. So the next vlog that you will get from me is going to be my trip to Polly's Island in South Carolina. So that'll be really, really fun. I will try to vlog as much as possible, but also I'm gonna try to enjoy my time there and spend time with friends and the future bride. So super excited for that but I will try my best to bring you guys along with me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'm so excited to just get back into the groove of YouTube. You guys have no idea how happy I am to be back on 